Hello guys, our next video is about the elements of financial statements. So we have five elements of financial statements. So isa isa in natin. There are elements of financial statements that give us information as to the financial position of the business. Uh, ano ano yung mga yon? So we have the assets, liabilities and equity. So, itong tatlong to, assets, liabilities, and equity, give us information as to the financial position or the financial condition of the business or the financial status of the business. So, itong tatlong to ay makikita sa balance sheet or, or tinatawag din na statement of financial position. Then, we have also elements of financial statements that give us information as to the performance of the business. Ano yung mga elements na yon? So, we have income or revenue. Tapos, we have expenses. So, etong dalawa, income or revenues and expenses, makikita sila sa pinatawag nating income statements. So, they give us information about the performance of the business. So, review natin. What are the five elements of financial statements? We have the assets, liabilities, equity, income or revenue, and expenses. So, isa-isahin natin. What are assets? So, when we say assets, they are resources controlled by the enterprise as a result of past events and from which future economic benefits are expected to flow to the enterprise. So, take note ng word na control and then resources so resources pag sinabi natin resources, ito ay mga uh, napapakinabangan natin in a business control pag sabihin ng control uh, ito ay owned by the business so when you say asset these are resources that are owned by the business as a result of past events and from which future economic benefits are expected to flow to the enterprise. So, assets are classified into two. We have current assets and non-current assets. Then, we have the following examples of assets. Uh, cash. Ito yung mga accounts na classified as assets. Cash, cash equivalents, accounts receivable, notes receivable, inventories, prepaid expenses, equipment, land, building, machinery, furniture and fixtures, patents, at marami pang iba. So, yan yung assets. Then, we go to the next element of financial statements, yung pinatawag nating liabilities. When I say liabilities, these are obligations of the entity to outside parties who have furnished resources. They are present obligations of the enterprise arising from past events the settlement of which is expected to result in an outflow from the enterprise of resources embodying economic benefits. So, in short, yung liabilities, ito yung mga dapat nating isettle sa outside parties sa iba. Ito yung ating mga utang sa iba. So, we have two classification of liabilities, current and non-current. So, what are examples of liabilities? We have the following accounts. Uh, accounts payable, accrued liabilities, or also known as accrued expenses. Under nito, yung salaries payable, utilities payable, interest payable, taxes payable, at marami pang ibang accrued expenses. Under liabilities, then we have notes payable, unearned income, mortgage payable, and bonds payable. Then we go to the third element, yung tinatawag na equity. Ano ba yung equity? It is the residual interest in the assets of the enterprise after deducting all its liabilities. So, from the word residual in, residual interest or residual or residue, diba ito yung mga tira-tira? So, pag sinabi natin na equity, Ito yung naiwan sa business after nating tanggalin si liabilities kay assets. So, it may pertain to the following depending on the form of business organization. If the business organization is single or sole proprietorship, there is only one owner's equity account. 
because there is only one owner. So, pag partnership naman, an owner's equity account exists for each partner. So, if you have three partners, then you have three owner's equity accounts. In a corporation, owner's equity consists of share capital, retained earnings, and reserves representing appropriations of retained earnings among others. So, example of owner's equity accounts. Ito yung capital, withdrawals, and income summary account. Now, we go to the fourth uh, element of financial statements, yung income or revenue. Pag sinabi natin income, ito yung increases in economic benefits during the accounting period in the form of inflows or enhancements of assets or decreases of liabilities that result in increases in equity other than those relating to contributions from equity participants. So, sa definition ng income, kasama dito yung definition din ng revenue at saka gains. So, when we say revenue, these are uh, those that arise in the course of the ordinary activities of an enterprise and is referred to by a variety of different names including sales, uh, fees, interest, dividends, royalties, and rent. So, depende yun kasi sa source ng revenue. Depende yung description niya. Like, for example, kapag ang iyong source ng revenue ay sale of merchandise, ang gagamitin mo, sales. Kapag sa pag-render ng service, pwedeng service income. Then, we have gains. Ano yung gains? Gains represent other items that meet the definition of income and may or may not arise in the course of the ordinary activities of an enterprise. So, example of income accounts, we have service income, okay, kailan ito ginagamit kapag you earn revenues by performing services for a customer or client. We have also sales, kailan naman ginagamit ito if we have revenues earned as a result of sale of merchandise. Now, we go to the last element, yung tinatawag na expenses. These are decreases in economic benefits during the accounting period in the form of outflows or depletion of assets or incurrences of liabilities that result in decreases in equity other than those relating to distributions to equity participants. Under the definition of expenses, uh, included din dito yung tinatawag nating losses. Losses represent other items that meet the definition of expense and may or may not arise in the course of the ordinary activities of an enterprise. So, the following are examples of expenses. Cost of sales, salaries or wages expense, utilities expense, rent expense, supplies expense, interest expense, budget expense, advertising expense, insurance expense, depreciation expense, at marami pang ibang expenses. So, Yan yung five elements of financial statements. So, we have assets, liabilities, equity, income, and then we have expenses. Uh, yung detailed na discussion ng limang elements na to will be uh, sa next video. So, there will be a separate video for each element. Hopefully, you learned something today. Again, yung limang elements of financial statements. Assets, liabilities, equity, income or revenue, and expenses. Thank you so much for watching. At kapag hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, click subscribe and hit the notification bell para pa-update kayo if there are new videos na in-upload. Thank you so much.